Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Future House video. And today's video is a little bit different, but that's okay because that is the reason you subscribe to this channel, right? And today's video about a summary of my mentor's video, Joseph Rodriguez, called Transforming Others Via Self. Never got art. And the reason I do this video is that Never got art himself was born in February 19th, 1905, and he left his body in October 1st, 1972, right? And this lecture is called the Mental Diet. So when people were speaking at that time, it is a little bit different than the languages that we are using now, right? And I want to make sure that this love is being transmitted to as many people as possible. And I know that we're all busy, so I'm really aiming to condense the knowledge and the nuances here in a very short video. So let's begin. So let's jump right into it. First, glossary. There are a few words, right? I'm going to explain what they actually mean here, right? Number one, word. Here means vision, the inner talking, and mental conversations. An old man, the unsuccessful man, here means ego, the programming, the ideas we accumulate in the past. An imagination. Here means revision. And heaven on earth is describing the state of a love, bliss, harmony, and our ideals realize our dreams come true, right? So Joseph started with this quote here. The world is a magical circle of infinite possible mental transformations, for there are an infinite number of possible mental conversations. When man discovers the creative power of inner talking, he will realize his function and his mission in life then he can act to a purpose. And here, men, women, interchangeable, keep that in mind. Without such knowledge, he or she acts unconsciously. Everything is a manifestation of the mental conversations which go on in us without our being aware of them. But as civilized beings, we must become aware of them and act with a purpose. Um, bro, what? <laughs> What does this all mean, right? So the premise in one sentence is be conscious because what you think, feel, and especially imagine in detail do come true. And this is the fundamental premise, the most important thing about all of Neville Goddard's teaching, right? Because your outer world depends on how you really feel and your vivid imaginations. And then let's jump into the how. And here, Neville's teaching is, how would I send my word to help a friend? And keep in mind, word here means my vision, my inner talking, my mental conversations to help a friend. I would imagine that I'm hearing his or her voice, that he or her is physically present, that my hands is on him. I would then congratulate him or her on his or her good fortune, tell him or her that I have never seen him or her look better, right? I'm going to skip the reading part of his quote. So how to revision in one sentence is get yourself into the state and with loving thoughts and feelings and as detailed as possible. The level of detail of your imagination and love pouring into it is almost like Leonardo da Vinci, his attention poured into the baptism of Christ. That detail, that emotions of the angel they're presenting on his face, it's just incredible, right? You can see it here. And then circling back, rear vision, channeling that energy and feelings and make sure the images are as detailed as possible and really see it and feel it. And in this way, Neville Goddard and Joseph called it communion with another. Oh, wow, I love this part here that Joseph mentioned in the video. What within myself is creating this experience? This is a question, the golden nuggets that you should take away from this video. So in our daily lives, maybe something happened that doesn't go to our way. And this is a question we should reflect upon, right? What within myself is creating this experience? Because events are just neutral. And we look at them with a goggle, with an instrument filter because in this way we add some kind of narrative towards it and then that change the taste right and the action is 
change the internal dialogue, change how you speak to yourself and make peace with the programming、mm -hmm. and who you think you are, or you completely let go, drop that narrative, right? Which I really think, and I know for a fact, meditation helps. Another beautiful quote from Neville: "The great secret of success is a controlled inner conversation from premises of fulfilled desire." And you can see the whole quote here. So the great secret of success in one sentence is to feeling the wish fulfilled, and you achieve that by dropping your doubt and worries. I believe there's psychology studies that. Almost eighty percent of our thoughts are negative, and ninety-five percent of those negative or worries actually never happen, right?、Um, so coming back to the great secret of success, using revision now, and you are bringing your ideal to life, right? More and more so, do the things you enjoy, spend time with people that. Bring peace and harmony into your life, and do the activities that you feel so much progress each day. As Tony Robbins said, that progress equals happiness, right? And something we keep in mind. So at the end, Joseph gave this amazing affirmation slash auto suggestion here, right? I choose the direct path from the perspective of flow, love, and ease. You can see the whole quote here, and. In one sentence, is that more and more so each day, I automatically expressing the ideal inner conversation from the perspective of love, in relations to others, which transform my reality accordingly. And this video Joseph made is another masterpiece, and I just really wish to make shorter videos so that I can spread, so that you know all of us are busy, we get to. Digest and think, and most importantly, apply the things he talks about, Neville talks about, and the future hour talks about. Right. So, I want to end the video with some reflection. After watching this video, you might still think about actually, how do I really do it? Right. But the fact is that there is no how to, because you already know. How to a part of you, your real self, your true self, your intuition, whatever you wish to call it, and that part of you is shining forth brighter and brighter each day. And that part of you already know how to be successful, how to revision, how to transmitting the healing energy, how to help your friends, your family, your loved ones. Your girlfriend, your boyfriends, to be successful, to live in their ideal self. With that said, I trust you're enjoying this video. This is Jazzy from the Future Hour. More of these kind of videos are coming because it is critical time for all of us being tuned with ourselves to show love, also challenge ourselves to do something fun, to do something that give back to the community, right? Make sure you subscribe, share this video to a dear one. Till next time, this is the future hour.